I'm not the person you want to be asking these questions to. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by nhliberty.org. Are you on the school board? I'm not on the school board, but I am going to the school board meeting. Are you with the district? Yeah. Uh, what title am I might ask? I'm an assistant principal at the elementary school. Oh, you're perfect to ask this. I got a question. Uh, to what extent do the, the school policies and the school, or the school district policies uh, prevent your adults, or the adults in the buildings, from defending the students, you know, against violent threats? How do the policies? How do the policy, do, do your policies prevent adults from defending the students? And I'm specifically referring to their Second Amendment rights. I would, I'd have to go back and look at the policy. I don't know that a policy exists that says you can't. So uh, You a, cannot defend a, a teacher would be able to, to, to defend a student and have a firearm for that purpose inside the schools? I'm not the person you want to be asking these questions to. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. All right, I'll keep asking. Thanks much. Thank you. That is, to, to what extent are, are adults uh, prevented from having firearms to defend the students with when they're on school grounds? To what extent are adults? To what extent are they restricted from having firearms to defend the students? I mean, we hear all these stories, these horror stories around the country, uh, and I think a lot of people want to be able to defend kids, but they're are they allowed to here? Are they allowed to have a firearm? Well, that's a good question. I'm not sure off the top of my head if I can cite a policy that prohibits that. Um, I would hope that if an adult was licensed to carry a firearm on school grounds, um, that in the event of some sort of crisis, uh, you know, that they would defend the students. All right. You wouldn't hear that answer in most states, only in New Hampshire. <laughs> so, uh, well, <laughs> well, maybe Utah. Yeah. Do you have a? Um, has there ever been an, an incident where someone who was an adult was arrested for having a firearm on school grounds in Wilford? Um, I've been on the board now probably seven years or so, and I don't think so. Um, yeah, prior to that. Um, I worked as a police officer back in the 90s here in town. I don't ever recall a time where we were dispatched here for someone with a firearm or if there was a concern. I just, I, I want to say no. Um, I just can't think of anything off the top. Okay, well, if that. someone would know, you probably would. Been here a lot longer than me. Yeah. Um, gosh, you know, when, when I was going to school here, I graduated from Milford High in 87. At that time, normal to have vehicles out in the parking lot because uh, kids would go hunting after school or in before school. So it was common to have, you know, pickup trucks with, you know, rifles and shotguns right in the back window. No one even thought twice about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, but boy, times have changed since. Yeah, I know for me I always feel a chilling effect just because of the federal laws. Yeah. Um. Um, again, don't know off the top of my head if our policy explicitly prohibits um, someone licensed to bring a firearm. Yeah. I mean, obviously the, the police are here periodically. I'm audio recording. In the past, we've had a school resource officer. I'm not asking you to have another one. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's it's a fine balance sometimes. You know, right. We want students to feel safe. And, um, you know, it's just uh, it, it's not an easy. It's, it's not an easy solution, I don't think. Uh, right. So. Okay. I appreciate the time and the accessibility. Well, Any time, sir. Yeah. You know how I'm always talking about the fact that if you go to the state house and you swing your fist, you hit a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Well, I've never actually showed you any video of the, 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 the way the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is able to just pack the state house full of liberty activists. Take a look at this. On this day, we had about 30 activists, I think, to fight for more freedom in New Hampshire and prevent the state house from passing bad bills. There have been times where we've had more like 50. 
Here they are meeting with the governor the same day. And they've had quite a bit of legislative success too. That's why I'm a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance and hope you will be too. Find out more at nhliberty.org. nhliberty.org.